You know, Sherry, first time I saw Nelson in Latant, you were holding him. He was such a sick, malnourished baby. Um, I, I really didn't think he was going to survive the day. You know, we found him in the, in the mud with the pigs. Really, the village would laugh at him and make fun of him because his mother, having other three kids, would just take him by the arm and sit him on the ground uh, with the pigs. And he would sit on his knees because he couldn't even stand. He was too weak to stand. And I know that that was uh, malnutrition yep. and rickets. And when I picked him up, I could feel every bone in his body mark, which is a sign of severe malnutrition. You can see his little arms are still yep. deformed with rickets right here. Yep. And he's got, his ribs are sticking out of his side right here. Let me just pull his shirt up here so you, that they can see yep. right there. So his belly has gone down quite a bit. But uh, when I saw him, I uh, can't explain to you how, how I felt. And so I thought, well, I'll just pick him up because I thought they were going to step on him. And the next time I came in to the village with Bobby, and we were talking about your food. And I said, well, let me just show you Nelson. I'm looking for Nelson. and. It's like looking for a little tree stump on the ground. He was sitting on the ground, stoic, like on his knees. His mother put him out there and he would sit there all day long in the hot sun, no water. Nobody come along and talk to him. Just, he was at the mercy of the elements because he couldn't walk. Yep. And so I, I said, wow, I just felt like I should go tell his mother, let me have him and let's see what we can do with him. You know, Sherry, sometimes this has to happen just to get these children healthy. So please pray for Nelson's mom because she can't provide for her children. And, and he, he's a miracle child. Well, he is. Uh, not only is his whole, he, he started eating the food and food and love mixed together yep. and God. He started eating, uh, we took it real slow with him because remember he hadn't been eating too much. But after a week, I could see a big difference in him. Should we watch him walk? Yes, let's do yeah, that. Let's do that, Nelson. Go ahead. I'm Ashay. Bye bye. Go. There he goes. <laughs> the boy who couldn't walk. The boy who couldn't walk. Nelson, when we were here last, was just beginning to walk and talk. Excellent. Now he gets to go to school. And so this is day three for school for him. Well, Bobby, you know, this is now just over a year since we first saw Nelson in Latan, such a sick little boy, and now we hear a year later and he is simply a gorgeous, gorgeous boy, going to school, healthy. As you remember over there, yeah. when you sure found him, he had nothing to eat, he couldn't walk, he couldn't talk. I thought he would never, I thought he would be like that all of his life, but then you know, sure he brought him here and we yeah. gave him food, feed, feed my starving children food, yeah. and now I just can't believe how. I came out of it. I tell you, feed my starving children is such a blessing. There's so many thousands of children in Haiti. That with food, I mean, it would be a disaster. I mean, I mean, without a doubt, so many would die. And that's not just exaggerating it. Yep. That's a true story. I mean, they would die. And now look at him. Going to school, he's got a great smile. And uh, just, uh, just simply thank you and God bless you for helping us feed so many of God's kids all around the world. Yes, thank you. Thank you.